what's up guys back again with another video this episode we're going to move on from uh, packages and interfaces and we're going to move on to exception handling which is really cool because I don't want to work with that other stuff anymore so yeah we can work on this so yeah okay so what is an exception well an exception is literally just an error that is created in your Java code so they arise from uh, what's called abnormal conditions within your code which is like um, just stuff that's not supposed to happen within your within your code that Java you just can't do that in Java that's what it means so this could be a lot of things like um, Java actually has tons of different exceptions that you that can be created once you're uh, doing something wrong in the code so one example of doing something wrong is like incorrect math like dividing something by zero I mean you just can't do that in math so that would create an error or an exception same thing so exceptions are actually objects in Java and they're created either by the Java compiler or by you manually. So we'll be exploring that more later. So Java is really cool because in other languages, they don't really offer any support for handling exceptions. So like you have to deal with the errors manually and fix each one. So yeah, it's just really hard with other languages. Not every language is not every language, but um, yeah, but um, Java does not want to make your life hard. They, they want to help you out. So they provide something called exception handling. And what is that? Well, um, when things go wrong inside your Java code, exceptions are created, which are again objects, and that's called throwing an exception. Whenever um, an error happens, you throw an exception. And these are objects that must be handled either by the object it was created in, or no, the method that was created in. That was an error right here, I didn't mean to put that. Or it can be passed on to another method. Um, so yeah, and once the exception finds a place to be handled, it will be what's called caught, meaning that it will be, um, processed and uh, something will happen um, usually the program that you're um, working on will be terminated meaning that it will just stop and you'll have an error printed out to the console or if uh, what we're going to be doing uh, we can handle it ourselves and we can customize what happens whenever um, the exception is created but yeah don't worry about that yet so anyway when we're dealing with exceptions in Java we have five different keywords that we work with um, the most common ones is try and catch, and we'll be exploring that next episode. And then we also have throw, throws in finally, and we'll be exploring those also. But yeah, anyway. Um, exceptions are objects, so I'm going to prove it to you. Um, I have this nice little diagram here. It shows that um, we have this um, we have this big structure hierarchy here. And throwable is the top class for um, where the exception uh, subclass comes from. So this superclass is a subclass. But there's actually another one called the error subclass, and I'm not too sure about that one. So we're not actually going to learn about that one, but um, this is the important one, where all the exceptions come from. So the subclass of um, these two, um, I'm not sure if it's this one or this one, but um, whenever exceptions are created, it's either created by, it's either a subclass of this one or this one. But anyway, when we, um, we can also make our own uh, exceptions later on, so we can make our own subclasses. So that's going to be really fun. So, um, yeah, so it's just a big hierarchy. You have throwable, which is the superclass, and then below that you have exception, and then from there we can start having subclasses, which are the different exceptions within Java language. So now that we've um, finished with this PowerPoint, we're going to start coding. We're going to do a little demonstration. So I just started up a new little uh, project here, and within the project we're going to try making our own error. And we've dealt with errors a little bit before, but we're going to do it again right now. So. So like I said, one way to make an error or exception is by uh, doing like something divided by zero, which you can't really do. It's not really possible within math, and Java knows that, so it's going to create an exception. So int, um, let's do int bob equals 500, and we'll do int c equals bob divided by zero. You know, just some simple, oops, what the heck, bob divided by zero right there. So, I mean, pretty simple, right? So, we're going to go ahead and run this and see what happens. So, yeah, right off the bat, we get an error here. So, let's see if we can open this up. Oh, no, no, that's not why we get an error. It's because for some reason it's set to Java 9. So, yeah, let's uh, change this back to 8. And we'll run it again. And we should get the error that we want from now on. Let's see. There we go. This is the error that we want. Exception and thread main. And then we get this uh, this big thing here. And then we get, it tells us exactly what it is. And then it says the location. 
So this is actually it looks kind of scary and looks like um, the devil just sent that to you, but it's actually pretty simple. So what it does for it, right off the bat, it tells you that you have an exception thread main, which is going to be your main method, obviously. So that's good. It tells us where it is again, um, initially, and then um, it tells us uh, what the exception is right here. This is the actual exception, and this is a subclass of the class superclass exception that we looked at a second ago. So arithmetic exception is at one of the exceptions of many exceptions. And then it says what happens, like I said, and then it tells us the location again. And it even says right here, if we have the C, if we see the colon six, that tells us that the exception occurs on line six. So if we go to line six here in our program, we see that is Bob divided by zero and we get an arithmetic uh, exception. So right there, it tells us everything we need to know. So when it tried to do the math, an exception was created in the Java compiler, which is, you know, the console or whatever, or whatever runs the Java code, I mean. And um, the Java compiler creates a new object of the type exception, and then it throws it, you know, meaning that it creates the exception. And then uh, once the exception is thrown, it needs to be caught by an exception handler, um, or also be sent to what's called the default handler, which um, will terminate the program, and then print out this to the console. Um, so yeah, that'll happen. So if we start catching our own exceptions, we don't have to make it terminate and then uh, we can keep it running and then deal with the, the exception ourselves and yeah, some cool stuff like that. So yeah, I hope this episode was pretty uh, explanatory for you, if that's a word. I um, hope it was helpful. Uh, leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll help you. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Okay, peace.